The gaming industry is a messed up place. Despite GTA 6 releasing in a year or two and netting Take Two and Rockstar billions upon billions of dollars, they are actually firing a good chunk of developers. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over why this could be bad news for GTA 6. Although I will just admit more than likely a lot of these people being laid off are probably from some of the other dev studios that Take Two owns, but there is some slight cause for concern regarding GTA 6. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. So here was the article. This is an article from Bloomberg. Grand Theft Auto Maker to fire 5% of staff and drop some projects. And if you're wondering, cause 5% doesn't seem like a lot, but they apparently employed 11,580 full-time workers. 5% of that is roughly 600, which still isn't a ton of people. But again, you have to remember, these are actual people that are losing their jobs for some unknown reason. And what makes this even more weird and why the gaming industry is just, I don't know, it just, it's completely messed up. They're spending $200 million to do this. So they're actually spending money to fire people and to cancel projects that they had. But before we start talking about GTA 6 stuff, I just wanted to finish the article here. They did mention in this little paragraph, this is happening across all of gaming. Uh, Riot, Microsoft, a bunch of these companies are laying off employees. What's also messed up about this situation is that uh, I believe back in February, Take-Two said that it was working on some sort of cost reduction program, but the CEO, Strauss Zelnick, said there were no current plans for layoffs. So he just basically lied to these people. And if you really want to know specifics here, I mean, this doesn't apply to GTA 6 at all, but apparently one of the big reasons they are doing these layoffs is because they, they bet on this mobile gaming company called Zynga. They purchased them for $12 billion and it is not paid off at all. They thought mobile games would be big and it, it was not. So because of their mistake, of course, now actual people are paying that price. So how does this tie into GTA 6? Well, the reason I think this could be some bad news for GTA 6 developers is because of this whole return to office five days a week policy they just employed. Uh, if we scroll down here, it doesn't actually specify the date, but it was reported that April 15th, two days ago, that was when the return to the office mandate sort of applied. And of course, a lot of the developers, a lot of the people that were working from home did not like this new policy. There's even been studies that remote work did not have an impact on productivity. So a lot of the developers are like, well, if we can work from home, why can't we just work from home? Why are we having to come into the office? And the reason I'm bringing this up is because these companies, one of the reasons they, they did this whole return to the office thing is to sort of have the option to fire people or to let people go. Because again, a lot of the people, a lot of the developers did not want to do that. And there's probably a handful of them that will not go back to the office. They will decide to leave instead of continue. And that's what's actually happened uh, with some other companies. I think they mentioned Blizzard and Riot here. So that's why I say this could be some bad news for, for GTA 6 at least, because if there are a handful of these developers that decide to leave, that's not a good thing. Especially if we are in the final stages of development, that's less people working on the game, less people maybe doing checks and, and testing and making sure everything works properly. So the return to the office and now these layoffs, like they could be connected and they could tie into GTA 6. Probably not majorly, but there, there definitely could be a small impact. Now it's not all doom and gloom again. It's just going to be a minor thing, at least regarding GTA 6's development. I think the majority of these layoffs are probably some of the other smaller labels and, and companies and dev studios that take to owned. Maybe a lot of the mobile developers they ended up bringing in a couple years ago. But it's just, it's crazy and it's so messed up because you would think, right, that more developers, more people working on these games would contribute to higher quality games. And honestly, that's probably true. But the, the fact is these cuts, these layoffs, they don't actually happen because of the game. It's not really about that. The unfortunate part about the world we live in now is it's about stock prices and it's about shareholders. Take Two is a publicly traded company, which means they have to constantly grow and keep making money in order to appease the shareholders. And the sad reality is them laying off a bunch of people tricks the system and makes the, the line sort of keep going up because they're not paying 600 
employees now. So it looks like they're making more money. At the end of the day, even if it's not GTA 6 related, it's just, it's flat out greed because GTA 6 will, like I said, it will earn these people billions upon billions of dollars. GTA 5 made what, like 8 billion or, or 8 to 10 billion over the course of the its life. GTA 6 might make double that, which is absurd for a video game to do. And yet we're talking about layoffs. They are laying off people just because their share price dropped a bit. So I'm sure you'll see this headline across the board, GTA firing people and all that. And I think, like I said, with the whole return to office thing, there definitely could be some cause for concern regarding GTA 6. But at the end of the day, Take Two is pretty heavily reliant on GTA 6's release to make them money. So I don't think they're gonna like do anything crazy to Rockstar and to any of the GTA 6 developers at least until the game is out. So if we do get more of these layoffs, cause that's just what's happening in the gaming world right now, I don't think it's gonna affect GTA too much, but of course it is sad to see. The only other thing I wanted to bring up to end this video are the canceled projects that they're actually spending 140 million on apparently to cancel them, I guess. I'm sure a lot of this is a lot of the other games they were maybe working on. But this also could be tied with Rockstar. Obviously, GTA 6 isn't the only thing Rockstar is still working on. Read that online. I mean, the, the seven people probably still working on that. They could have been let go because Read that online is, is sort of done. Even GTA Online, it's probably not crazy to think that they've downsized the GTA Online dev team. And I know I sort of stopped making videos on GTA Online, but the summer update that is apparently coming out at some point this year, I don't think you should be expecting it to be big or major in any way, mainly because the bigger a DLC, the bigger an update is, probably requires more developers. And as evident from what we've just talked about, Take-Two does not want to pay more developers. So kind of sucks that despite all the money it's made, they're not really you know, wanting to put much effort into the, the game anymore. But that's gonna do it for today's GTA 6 video. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Again, this isn't anything crazy. It's not anything major, but maybe an example of like the worst case scenario is a couple extra bugs, you know, end up in the game at launch because take two let go of the QA staff for not wanting to come back to the office, you know, something like that, right? Obviously just an example there, but this isn't gonna impact the development of GT6 majorly. It's just unfortunate. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop a video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GT6 content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.